our goal is to be able to have pictures fit into a shape or a frame or a selection. Those are three things that I'd like to show you here. The first one is using the frame tool, which is over here. Up in the options bar, you have the choice of creating either a rectangular frame or a circular frame. And I will draw a rectangular frame. I'm going to switch over to the elliptical frame and I'll put one of those there as well. So the easiest way to add pictures into these frames is just to drag and drop. All right, so here's a picture I would like to drag into that frame. And you'll notice that the picture is separate from the frame. So I can get my move tool and I can move that picture in there. I can do a free transform and free transform that picture inside of it. And I'll just take a different one and drop into there. And that's using the frame tool. So that's one way that you can put pictures inside of another object easily in Photoshop. Another way that I can do this is I can create a selection. And in order to do this, you need to have, uh, have marching ants going. So I'm going to grab the elliptical marquee tool. Then I'm going to take a picture that I've got here. I'll select all of it. And I will copy it. And with marching ants going, I can go into the edit menu, paste special, and paste in two. Now what that does is it creates a mask for you, which is not locked to the picture. So I can grab my move tool. I can move the picture around inside of the mask. Do a free transform. And voila, I've got it. Now, the thing is, is this is unlocked from the mask. So if I try to use my move tool, it's going to move whatever is selected over in the layer, which is the picture right now. If I select the mask, it's going to move the mask around. If I need both of them to go, I must click between the two so that those two are locked together, and then they will move as a unit. That's the second way. Now your shape can be pretty much any kind of a shape that you want. So for example, I could get the lasso tool and draw a free form shape. And I can go into the edit menu, paste special, paste into, and the same thing. So all you need to have is a selection going. And whatever shape your selection is will become a mask when you paste into, and that becomes a new layer. The third way that you can use shapes. So here I have all these different shape tools. I'm going to get a rounded rectangle and I'm going to create a shape and I think I'll put a black line or black fill on it so that you can see what I have done here. And then I believe I'll just go ahead and I'll round corners. And there I have it. I love using shapes as a, as a placeholder because I can take, I'll make a, a copy and let's say I want four of the same shapes. I'd like this one to be over here and I'd like this one to be right here and I'd like this one to be right here. I can highlight all of those shape layers 
And with my move tool, I can say align their top so they're all aligned evenly and distribute them on their centers. Now there's exactly the same amount of space between each one. If I'm on this layer and I go and, and copy this and come back, you'll notice that if I go into Paste Special, Paste In 2 is grayed out. The reason why is you have to have marching ants in order to paste into. And so I'm going to come down on this placeholder shape, hold my command or my control key down, and click on the thumbnail. Now that I have marching ants, I can go in, paste special, and paste into, and there I've got my layer. Since this was just a placeholder layer, I no longer need it because this is the, the one that I, that I needed. I'm going to go on this one and use my command key, and that's placed marching ants around this one. So I could go over to this picture, for example, select all of it, copy it, and then come back in here and paste special, paste into. I can free transform it so it fills the the shape and move it into place. And then I no longer need that placeholder shape. So there you have three different ways you can paste pictures into shapes.